Good morning, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Right now, keeping an eye on FRAN. Uh, looking up here, you can see, if you're not familiar with my screen, FRAN, and let's see, market opens up in 25 minutes, but you can see here, already done 3.5 million shares. So in other words, a lot of people watch this one a while, and maybe a pre-market trade on it, especially if it can maybe get up through that 1040 mark. Uh, so very curious about 1040. In fact, so much so that I'm going to go ahead and get this alerted in the chat room. So if you're curious, how does the chat room work? Yeah, I'm just making an alert here. So 1040 key upside break here during pre-market. And as you can see here, it is not broken. And I bring that up and I make that point just because you can see that, uh, you know, it's not like I'm getting in and then alerting it or anything like that. It is, uh, everybody will have the same opportunity as I do. I should also note that these videos are live. It's not a voiceover, it's not a post commentary. So I, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe that 1040 mark will never come into play again. I have no idea, but I think that's why these videos are popular because they are a real life look. You are hearing me think through my thoughts as things play out. Um, without me knowing what's actually going to come next. But as of now, the pullback uh, has occurred, and now it's not even really that close to 1040, but I'll keep an eye on it. I've revised the uh, Fran here update. I've now said that 1020 looks like the new key point, and then as I say here, it looks like if it can get through that level, uh, so if it can break through 1020, then it's got a, a good chance it's looking like a breaking through that 1040 mark. Um, so we'll see if that can play out or not. I'll let the video roll because I feel like it's getting relatively close here and also just fyi this is the pre-market chart that i have so i didn't have that on the screen when i first got the video rolling but it is up there now so if it looks like i said it wants to get up to that 10 20 ish area i will get the video rolling all right it's making a move here or it looks like it wants to make a move had actually a false break to the downside and is now coming back to the upside. But let's, there it goes in there at 1018. So I anticipated the break here a little bit and we'll see if it can ultimately get up there and push through or not. But yeah, 1020, gonna be that key area. And right now I'm taking on risk by having gotten in before that level even broke, but I like the chances it can break. And there is the break. Ooh. Not the greatest of breaks there at all. But I love this volume that's pouring in. So I want to give it some wiggle room here, but yeah, I'll, I'll be the first to admit, I thought I'd go a little bit more on that original break of 1020. Well, this one might've gotten me here. Want to give a little wiggle room, especially when it's pre-market, but um, yeah, that was uh, not exactly what I wanted to see at all. We'll see if it wants to make another push to get back up above 10 here. Wow, that was a great move too. Huge volume, price was looking great. And then just like that, the party evaporated on me. Like I said, let's see if it wants to give it another go. No, it's barely moving at all. All right, do I wanna make you sit through this or should I just pause the video when something's actually happening 
whether that's me needing to take the loss or if this thing is starting to, you know, try to move again. Well, all right, well, it's starting to move here again. Kind of. But I will go ahead and just pause the video for now. And if it looks like it's going to actually make some sort of move in either direction, then I'll get, well, now it's moving potentially downwards here. I don't know. How do you, how do you, let me know in the comment section, how do you feel about these sorts of trades? Do you want to see them kind of just consolidate out or should I just pause the video and get it rolling again when you know, the price actually starts to move? But I am going to go ahead and pause it. All right, probably going to need to take the loss here. All out there, $234 loss. Um, I just can't risk having this thing just completely collapse to the downside. I want to keep the hole small, give myself a fighting chance to be able to, to climb out of it. Um, so I would still be interested if it wants to try again up around that area. But as of right now, uh, yeah, that was just a good old fashioned faulty breakout. I mean, the volume was absolutely huge beautiful move and uh, it got the 1020 break but then as you saw it barely budged and i made a comment about uh oh that's not looking so good and of course i'm speaking in hindsight right now i probably should have just exited around there when I'm, when i made that comment uh about things not looking so good uh but it is what it is so yeah first trade market hasn't even quite opened yet and i'm down 234 dollars all right, I am interested in a potential break here of $10 if it looks like it wants to get up through 10. So we'll get the video rolling here. So it's making its way up there. Now it's pulling back. All right, well, never mind, but just in case I missed the entry point, well, I'll keep it rolling here now. Like at any, I don't know. This one, it moves, but it doesn't move. It's kind of choppy. All right, well, back down it goes. So never mind. All right, I have an order at 851. I feel like if this thing breaks to the downside of nine, it could move very, very quickly. I'd like more than 500 shares, but at least 500 would get my feet wet. Uh, but again, first step in this whole sequence is the price needs to first off get down to nine dollars and then break nine dollars. Um, so we'll see if that happens. Well. Here was the TSM trade that I alerted at 78, uh, or excuse me, what was the new flush why I was talking about? I don't remember now. Uh, 78, 75, and you can see it's broken down very nicely through there. Um, I chose not to take the trade. I, I just didn't feel right, and uh, I was wrong to not have taken the trade because I'd be up uh, basically over 50 cents right now per share with maybe more coming around the corner here. But um, like I said, it was alerted. I just didn't take the trade, but just as a little update on that one. As far as that KODK, uh, let's look at this. Oh, wow. N O N I O. Uh, but as far as uh, what was I saying? K O D K there's, it just it wasn't doing anything. So I just canceled that order and I moved on. So it was a kind of quick little summary on that one. Yeah. This one just moves too slow though. I mean that big, that, that big old move right there was worth a whole 10 cents. So not interested in that, but N I O is also moving. Oh, nice. There's shares to short of this one finally, huh? Right there, the green E means that it's easy to borrow as far as shares are concerned. For quite a while, Lightspeed, my broker, didn't have anything. So that is interesting. I will keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause. All right, watching Kodak here for a 960 potential break. I think if it looks, I think if it can break up through that area, it's got some momentum it could find. I mean, it's definitely consolidated out here very, very nicely. Missed it. All right, well, I got 400 shares on the back test here. So I didn't chase, but now I want to let this thing work for me here. Oh, crap. All right, well, 
<laughs> didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to exit the trade there for uh, a nine cent move. So that was just a, a user error on my part. <laughs> oh well, it happened, well SQ, it happens. Let's see what's going on. Oh, very nice move. An MRNA, wow. Alerted that one this morning at a, a break of 81. So right there you can see for members, 81 key upside break and this thing's now approaching 83. Um, I'm not quite sure. Well, actually I do know how I missed it. I was just paying attention to all these other things that uh, and too busy taking my profits at nine cent moves. Yeah, that one's just, no. MRNA though. I wouldn't mind building a position in this one. Let's go for 100 shares up there at 83.45. Now I definitely like more than uh, 100 shares, but this will allow me to get my feet wet. So let me say that again. I would, I want more than 100 shares, but I'm looking to, to build some size here and what I think is getting a little bit of an overextended move here. But first off, this thing needs to get up through 83, which it's failing to do right now. But I'll go ahead and pause, so let's see what am I. I'm down $76 now on the day. And oh. <laughs> oh, you more. Well, that was a costly mistake, but uh, I suppose if there's any sort of, you can see right here, and I, I'm just doing this just to show you that, I mean, this is what's available to everybody. Right there, I took $9.60 key upside break point, and wow, look at it go now. So congratulations to members that actually got in and then didn't press the wrong buttons like I did. No, I'm not saying that I would have still played that perfectly and, and sold the top. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, that was definitely uh, the power of charts. Members had the same exact opportunity. MRNA is finally going. Let's see, can it get up to 83, 45? And I'm wondering if I'm kind of just wasting my time with this one right now when you have, well, what is going on with DHI? I've, I've lured this alert as just being a nasty one, but oh wow, just grinding, grinding downwards. Yeah, that is disappointing. I would be interested to try to build a position on this one if it can get up over 11. So looking a short at 11.35, 500 shares. Again, just uh, an additional or uh, initial entry point, get my feet wet a little bit. Actually. Let's go to 11.55 here. There's the break. So let's see if this thing can get it up to, well, that stings. Oh man. Again, I'm not trying to sit here. I mean, it's easy to say, oh yeah, and I would have been playing it perfectly and I'd still be in, but I would have easily wiped away the losses there. But let's see if this thing can get up to 11.15 or excuse me, 11.55. What is the low of that candle? 10.90. Now that might be some sort of fake breakout here. So I may be interested in a short at right around 11. But I need to let this play out a little bit more. Yeah, that's a lot, ah, shoot. Let's see if it can, nice, all right, back up above 11 it goes. I'm gonna change things up. Let's see if we can, what's the low of that candle? Low, 11, 1088, 1080, yeah, so 1090, this area right here, okay. So in at 11.03, I think this thing wants to pull back some more here. So out there for just a quick, quick scalp, given that I am severely going against a very strong move. 
So got the quick movement there, but now let's see if this thing wants to continue on to the upside. Then I will play it. But I was definitely going well against the trend on that one, hence me being very, very, now that was not an error. I meant to take the the, the quick, what was that? Uh, made 12 cents on it, the quick $60. I made $60 in what, like three seconds. So that was that was by design. The first one was totally just an error, but not that one. Uh, AMKR, it's dropping. What does this one wanna do? Does it wanna actually break back to the upside? Well, now instead of, I'm thinking about maybe potentially trying to go long here up around this 1125 area, but it's pretty overextended on the five minute. Let me bring over the five minute, you can see there. So keep in mind, if you are new to my videos, I am you know watching more than what you see on the screen here. All right, I will go ahead and pause, Let's, but we'll see, uh, down $14. Well, this member played it right. Uh, you can see here on uh, KODK, uh, they bought right there at 961. So they, they waited for the break. Nice fill though, by the way, to get one penny beyond the break, well done. Um, and then they ultimately sold it for, uh, right here you can see the sell, for $10.49. So a great, great trade right there. Um, and uh, unfortunately for me, as you saw, I know I'm probably annoying you, but it makes me feel better to just kind of wallow in my self-pity about that one. But in all seriousness, good to see members making money. So there was an example, but well done. How, how did you get one penny above the breakout? That's an awesome fill. Very, very nice. All right, I will go ahead and pause. Have an order at 11.85 to get short here on KODK. Again, just 500 shares, but that'll allow me to get my feet wet on the position. I'd like more than 500. All right, well, I will go ahead and pause as the video is starting to drag out here. So I'll keep you updated. All right, I think if this thing looks like it wants to break 1125, I'm gonna get in for a short-sighted scalp. This upwards movement here is looking a little tired, but it may not be tired, hence me wanting to see a little bit more confirmation. Watching 1125 very closely. Yeah, that 11.35ish area actually looks like the truer one. Yeah, notice how whenever it gets down to 11.35ish area, it doesn't quite. I'm liking that area that much more now because if it goes back down, that would imply that this current upwards move here has failed. Yeah, I'm watching more so 11.35 now. But I also do have an order to short at 12.15. So if this move wants to continue upwards, well, I'll be ready up there. But yeah, that 11.35-ish area, still very, very interesting, especially now if it can come into play, because if it comes into play now, that implies this current upwards move that we're watching has failed. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause. All right, it's moving down here somewhat. <laughs> and then it goes right back up. This is there, 11.50. I'm gonna adjust it up to 11.50. I think if 11.50 fails, it should at least get a little bit of a move to the downside. I'll miss that. All right, well, let's go back down to 11.25 area. So in there at 11.34, I think it's time this thing wants to move down to the through that area. As we witnessed, it tried to move up and now it failed to do so. So I think there's that just represents the selling pressure that exists out there right now on it. But 
But wow, so many buyers at 1140. That really is the level where if that can fail, look at all those buyers there. Well, they're gone. This area is so stubborn. All right, break even there. That's okay. I, I, even if it comes down, I feel very good about that. This, just watch, it, it just won't budge. It will not give up, and I'm not gonna risk having this thing just snap to the upside. Um, so, break even on that trade, and feel very good about it. I mean, I would not be shocked at all at this point to see this thing just go back to the upside. This is without doubt a very, and there it goes, back up above 11.50. And now a new green candle is forming. So, uh, yep, played that one right without doubt. I am interested at 1125 again, just because once again, green candle, and if that green candle fails, once again, you got to think that eventually this thing is going to pull back some. So, in at 1125, can we finally get some sort of move to the downside here? This thing just does not want to go down. Trying to be patient with it. If it wants to try again, wow. If it wants to roll back over, I will look to add to the position because I just think this is saying, yep. Trying to get in at 11.45 here. Well, didn't give me, didn't let me in. Is this finally gonna be the move? All right, just, I, well, I tried to add to the position, which would have been fantastic. Uh, so more of the story here that I'm getting is I just can't, I can't time this one right. Uh, if you look back, you'll see, again, scroll back and you'll see a white order for 11.45 show up. White meaning the market, or the order was into the market, but it just wouldn't, uh, it didn't fill. So I tried to add another 500 to have 1,000, um, and after that failure, and then seeing it go, go down, I just decided, you know what, I'm taking the $50, and I'm waving the white flag on this one. Sometimes, and, and maybe this is probably the, the learning lesson here, sometimes you just have to admit to yourself, I, 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 I can't read the stock, and I, I can't read this one. Um, now, granted, I read it earlier very nicely with the 960, and I think this is why I keep trying to come back to it. I think in the back of my mind, there's some sort of, um, I don't wanna say revenge trading voice, because every single trade I've made on this one, I mean, it's made sense from the charting perspective. Um, it's made sense, and now you can see this one's actually finally rolling back over. And had I gotten the 1,000 shares, I'd, I'd probably still have right around 500 shares right now on it. Uh, but with me not getting filled when I try to add more, um, and it's just, like I said, and as I stumble over my words, and again, this is not some sort of post commentary, this is not a voiceover. I am literally thinking, processing my thoughts, right now at this very moment. Uh, so I just needed to, like I said, just take the uh, take what the market uh, what was, was willing to give me on this one. And you know, it's a situation where I'm, I'm just not quite getting it right anymore. And I can't quite uh, you know, read it. And I'm just still watching this one. I, honestly, I wanted to take an, I want to take another trade. If I'm being fully transparent here, I want to take another trade on it, but there's no way I'm going to because I literally just told everybody here that I need to be done with this one. Um, so to hold myself accountable, yes, I need to be done 
um, on this one. And just to offer up and show, I am green on the day. So let's see. You can see uh, right down here my, so this is, the, this is what matters the most net. So my net after fees and all that sort of stuff is now at $6.18. So $6.18, I need to uh, wrap up the video because I gotta go shopping for a couple of Rolex watches after today. Uh, but in all seriousness, what is the main learning lesson here? Yeah, you wanna make sure that, and look at this thing, just back up it goes. So it just strong stock. You gotta give credit where credit's due. But where was Fran at? Oh, yeah, nasty. So, I mean, let's keep things in perspective here. Well, it actually did recover a little bit, but even where it recovered to, still not where it was. I mean, had I held and hoped, held and hoped, held and hoped, what would I have been doing? I have been stuck, 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 stuck. And even now, with the price moving upwards, I would still be underwater on it. So there's no doubt about it. This is the what is known as, you know, opportunity cost, meaning the opportunity to go out there and do what? Well, we'll make my money back, you know, just make money when you sit there and hold and hope, that's a cost that a lot of people don't realize is you are missing out on the opportunities to go out there and put that money to use to trade other things, an opportunity cost. And again, like I said, I would have sat here all morning long, not to mention that loss would have already been way bigger than the $234, uh, you know, even with it is right now, because where did I sell that? I got out of that trade and took the loss at 972. So yeah, I mean, it's not even close to 972 right now. It's still basically a dollar away so I'd still be waiting, waiting, waiting for it just to get up that level where I could just break even. Yet here at this point, I've wiped away that entire loss. Why? Because I just cut the loss, I managed my risk, and I went out and I found other tradable opportunities. So um, you know, just keep that in mind. When you sit there and make the decision to break rules, to not honor risk, and you're gonna sit there and hold and hope, hold and hope. Well, there is a cost associated with that, not only from the cost of potentially you losing even more money, but there's also the opportunity for you to go out there and make that money back. Now, if you are interested in getting the alerts like you saw here, so I mean, members did very, very well, um, despite me screwing up some of my own alerts. But like I said, if you want some of those alerts, claytrader.com forward slash team, the way to approach that is, we'll use this pricing method, the $99 for three months access, so not per month, three months, which breaks down to $8.25 per week. So you just need to approach it. If I invest $99 to, to join, do I believe the service can give me at least $8.25, not per day, but per week, per week of value? If you believe the service can give you more than $8.25 per week of value, then you'll get a great return on your investment. So go check that out. There is also a mobile app, so it's not like you have to stay change your computer or anything like that all the time. Uh, so just keep that in mind. And then as far as this video is concerned, if you like these live trade videos, if you enjoy you know, just seeing my and hearing my thought process as things play out live, hit that like button. Also comments, questions, suggestions, please leave those down below. I do read comments and I will reply to them. And then finally, if you enjoy the video and if I'd encourage you to check out the channel and if you like what you see, then hopefully you decide to hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. But yeah, consider joining the community, claytrader.com forward slash team and let me know if you have any questions. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.